Yo bros, we're back with another Yo Elliot video and today we got a question from my bro Chenjari. He goes on to say, Yo Elliot, I'm a 21 year old man. I watch Andrew Tate on YouTube. Andrew states that in order to be a respectable man, that a man must have lots of experience with lots of women before he settles down. He wants to know what my opinion as a married religious man is on that topic. So the very first thing I want you to know is that experience doesn't equal wisdom. And so which one are you after? What is your intention? Do you want experiences for the sake of experience because someone says that makes you respectable? Or do you want to glean wisdom from every interaction that you have with every person that you engage with? There's a big difference because there are guys that have lots of experience that are as dumb as a doornail. And so I know guys like that. I know guys who have sex with lots of women who have tons of experience, but they can't seem to settle down. They can't seem to have a long-term, healthy, happy relationship. They have their, you know, I'm thinking one guy in particular is my age. He's been married four times, has no children, and it's pretty much miserable, but his list of notches on his, what do they say, notch count? Notch count is as high as hell. Lots of experience, very little wisdom. And then also, you know, there are a couple guys that I know, some of y'all know them too, like Will Noland, who I do a podcast with every Friday, as well as Tim Gordon, who, like myself, married their high school girlfriends. They both have seven kids. They have really happy, healthy relationships, uh, will probably die together with their wives, and have many, 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 many grandchildren. I got four kids. They got seven each. Between the three of us, there's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 kids, 18 kids. So wisdom is there. There's a lot of wisdom with being with that one woman. You know, there's this also this idea that if you're going to dig for a well, right, you're going to dig in for water, you want to build a well, you could dig and keep digging shallow holes and never reach water. And that's a lot of experience. That's a lot of work. That's going from hole to hole, trying to find what you want. Or you just stick with that one hole that you began digging and you stay there until you hit water. There's depth of experience and it's depth of experience that leads to wisdom. And so I get it as a 21 year old man, it sounds good that you wanna have a lot of experience, but a lot of times that's a cope for living a degenerate lifestyle. And that's what the feminists want. You know, a lot of these guys in the red pill community who talk a lot about how bad feminism is, don't realize that while they're running around having sterile transient sex with a lot of girls, you're basically giving into the feminist plot. Feminism doesn't exist if there is no contraception. Because when women, when men run around having sterile transit sex with these women, they f they're basically spilling their energy and their seed and giving their life force away for pleasure. Rather than thinking of depth of experience by focusing in on exactly what they want. So what is your intention needs to be considered? Sure, lots of experience. Maybe you're respectable to guys who respect promiscuity and feminism and living a life full of sin. You, look, I get it. There's a lot of guys that respect that. There are a lot of women that will respect you as a result. If that's what you want, then hey, that's okay. There are those who respect quality. There are those who respect a long-term relationship like you know, a lot of people want to know, like, how is it that you give relationship advice, Elliot, when you only been married to one woman? Uh, because I've been married to one woman. Most of the guys that are giving you guys relationship advice don't know how to have a relationship. They know how to have lots of experiences. So you got to ask yourself, is that really what you want? You want to have lots of experiences. And based on what you want, then you go about what you want to do. Like, for example, I have a lake in my backyard. It's a shitty little lake. But my neighbor likes to come over because he likes to throw his fishing rod in there, pull out the shitty little fish and toss them back in because he enjoys the experience of just catching the, the like little bass, the nasty little bass with their mouth going like this when he pulls them out. He pulls them out and he's like, hey, he takes a picture and he throws it back. And he, 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 last time he was here, he caught, he, I think he caught like 25 different little nasty little lake basses. Okay. Hey, some guys enjoy that. If that's what you enjoy and if that's respectable to you, because somebody might see that and be like, wow, that's great, Bob. 
You caught all those nasty little fitches and you throw them back because who wants to keep those? Well, cool. But I know guys, I live in Florida, who go out on a boat to do deep sea fishing to get these marlins, these giant fish with fins that look like dinosaurs. And they'll spend hours out there. It could take them days before they find one. And when they finally do find one because they're dipping their stick in the right pond in the right place, it's, an, it's a magnificent thing to find. And then you ask, you ask the guy that's had his fishing rod in a nasty little pond, what did he learn? Well, I learned that if I throw my rod in there, I'll pick out a nasty fish. It, then there's nothing to it. It's so easy to catch. What did you learn? Well, not much. I didn't really have any depth of experience. I was just kind of just having fun, which is cool. I totally get that. I'm not a fisherman, so to me, I don't, you know, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, cool. You had a good time. The guy that was out on the deep sea who's looking for that marlin, he has wisdom because he's like using his tracking material. He's looking, he's looking at like the depth of where he's going. He's trying different types of bait. He's trying to figure out like where the wind is blowing from and what time of the day it is until he finds that real, that big fish that he wants. That's respectable in my mind. The other one is recreational. I, that, that's not respectable, it's re recreational. It's like I said, it's a cope. Most guys who are looking for experiences so that they can be respectable, dude, you're looking for recreation. And if that's what you want, then that's fine too. I'm not, I'm not judging that. Hey, go right ahead. Just understand what it is. But you also got to understand what it is that you want. Do you want a nasty lake bass? You want catfish? Where you got to go down into the mud and you got to stick your arm in a hole and pull out a, a big bottom feeder? Look, there's a lot of people that enjoy that stuff. Or do you want Alaskan salmon? Do you want to catch a marlin? And of course I'm using metaphor and so a lot of people can say, oh, Elliot, but it's different. It's not fishing, it's finding women. But the principle is the same. Do you want depth of experience so that you can gain wisdom about women? Or do you want a lot of experience that's shallow and fun, I guess? I don't know, to me it sounds like a lot of a headache actually. But some guys, that's, you know, sounds like a lot of fun to them. So that's what they promote. Also remembering that it's a part of the Marxist communist takeover. It can't happen unless men are chasing puss. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Done. Porn. 68% of church going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be? To live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.